The Sims 4 Reaper's Reward event started on Tuesday, September 24th. While I've seen many reports of people completing it with no issues, both in existing saves and new ones, with and without mods, there are also reports of issues with the event. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my Sims 4 news video. I'll cover the issues with the event, discuss some workarounds, and go over some additional information about the event per the EA Help blog post and the video. So my main source for the issues and workarounds is going to be Krenrick's blog post on the event and also Luth has a post on mods and the event. We're going to start with Krenrick's blog post. But to begin with, she had shared a lot of different pieces of information on Twitter. You know, there were issues. Don't, don't go into create a sim. Don't travel. And that's because there are issues with pausing the game that are tied into those things. But you can do them as long as you follow her second tweet here. You can go into create a sim and travel, but make sure to not pause your game before the loading screen. Wait until tasks are loaded after the loading screen before engaging with the game. Though she still recommends doing the event as she outlined in her blog post, which we're going to cover, which essentially is using a new user folder and playing it in a new save. Here's the details of what she's recommending. So when she starts, there are issues with the event. Some are caused by mods, which we'll touch on probably a little bit more after. Um, others are game issues and some are unclear what's causing them. So the method she's recommending is to uh, create a new user folder, but she also was reiterating here on her blog post to avoid saving until the GUI is fully loaded and don't pause the game before or right after a loading screen. Essentially wait for everything to be fully there before you would pause the game. So to do this, you're going to rename your The Sims 4 user folder and she shows exactly where it is and she gives a suggestion. You might want to call it The Sims 4 underscore cur, but any name that you like, something that you're going to know to recognize it. So that folder will now have all your mods, your save games, and including the event rewards from the Happy Home Login event. Essentially the t entitlement to those rewards. So then you're supposed to repair your game on the EA app or Origin, um, if you're on an older Mac, or on Steam, if this is something uh, you're going to do there, you're, it's called Verify Your Game. Then you're going to start the game. When you open your game, your save games and settings will be gone because you're in a new set of folders, so nothing is there. So then she's saying to start a new save game, but don't use any scenarios is just what she's suggesting. Create a new family or download an existing one from the gallery. She's saying library, but library you would have had to have moved or copied your tray in here to be able to have access to your library. If you don't do that, your library is not going to be there. It's going to be in the other set of your user folders. But if you want to, then do that. And she doesn't, she recommends to not add infants, toddlers, or pets to this particular household where you're going to be doing this challenge with. Then place your family on a regular residential lot. I did it on a tiny residential lot with no issues, but you know, if you want to be safe, regular residential lot. I definitely saw her say, don't use a residential rental. And that's because it sometimes have pop-up events with you that uses that GUI on that side. So it's best not to use that type of lot for sure. And then play the event until you have everything claimed that you can for the first week at this point in time. All the rewards that you claim, except the potions and skill boats, skill books that you have in your game anyways, will be saved to your account. So everything that is new for the event will be saved to your EA account as long as you're playing it online. And anything that's a consumable that's already in the game, it'll just be in that particular save is what she's saying there. So once you've saved your game and closed it, you will need it again for the upcoming weeks because you're going to use that same save for the later weeks of the uh, event. So then you're going to rename that folder that's newly created to be something like the Sims 4 underscore event. So you know it's the event folder. And then you're going to move it out and you're going to take your original one that had the underscore occur and put it there and get rid of the underscore occur so it becomes your current folder. Because the game looks for the Sims 4. That's what it does when you open the game. And if it doesn't see it, it creates a whole new set of folders. Start the game. 
You will now have your usual game back, including all your mods. The rewards from Happy Home should also be back because they were in the account data DB one that was in that user set. And the new ones you just claimed that were tied to your EA account will also be there. So essentially, she's just saying, do the same thing the next week and the next week and the next week, because that's how you should just, if you're having problems, do the event. Here are some suggestions if you don't have the pop-up in the game or you don't see the event screen. Of course, it was live September 24th. So you could try doing an EA app recovery, which is menu help app recovery if you play through the EA app. Make sure you're testing without mods and custom content. Delete your sim cache files. And she has a post that says which ones to delete. You shouldn't just delete random ones. And then repair your game. Now, you will have your rewards on another computer. Actually, you'll just have it on any device that is tied to that EA account. I've seen that someone tested that they had the game on PlayStation and Xbox and they use the same EA account, and they're on both of them. You don't have to play through it a second time. And I also had someone who played on computer, and then I can't remember which console they had, but they had a console, um, Xbox or PlayStation, and the same thing was true. It It's tied very much to your account, and you can switch it between all of the devices. So here's a little blurb about what are consumable rewards. There are things that can help you advance in the tasks. And in the first week, for example, you get some skill books that you would normally buy through the bookcase. You get potions to put your sim in a certain mood. Those potions are things you would usually get through the reward store. Um, But the consumable rewards are only for the household playing the challenge, the event. Uh, There is the household collection of freezer bonies, but you can actually buy them currently and build mode. They say they're limited time, so I'm not sure if that's going to be available afterwards, but you can also save it to your library and have them afterwards if they do somehow disappear. Here is the first of the three main problems. So really there's two main problems, but one lesser problem. So this one is the GUI doesn't show the tasks. And there's the example, which is from the EA Answer Headquarters bug report. So you have two ways this can happen. The list of tasks is empty from the start, or you did a few tasks and now the list is empty. So the Cause is currently unclear, but it's probably connected to the game being paused before or shortly after a loading screen, or if you save before the game had a chance to load the GUI. It's also possible that certain events like the For Rent or Discover University ones bug out the game, hence why they're saying don't use uh, the residential rentals for sure, or what I'm suggesting. It also can be activated by mods like MC Command Center, as they have mechanisms to pause the game under certain conditions, and there are other mods that do the same. We'll get into that a little bit more when we look at loose post. So currently, the only solution is to remove the account data DB package. Remove as in like move it elsewhere. <laughs> do not delete it. Um, cause that file also contains the rewards from the happy home event. And there are several things you can try. Unfortunately, these don't work for console. And the easiest one is to use the one that we've already covered where you're playing in a new user folder. And there's more details there. I will link to the post so you can read it. So there are also some issues with the newsletter uh, where the task itself isn't recognized or you don't actually get it. If you don't get it, then one thing I had seen someone suggest that worked for them but hasn't worked for everybody is to replace the mailbox. But there, are, it's also unclear if it's caused by mods or if they're game bugs. So again, the same thing she's suggesting for this is the suggestion she said up front, which is why it's at the top of her blog post. So now we have the issue of planting of flowers not being recognized, which is one of the tasks. You have to plant a lily and you have to plant a snapdragon and the task isn't marked as done. So for most, it's related to the better build by mod. It has parts that are active even after removing the mod like organized debug. Uh, There are other theories floating around that you can see there. So plants that are not in season, certain planters queuing the tasks back to back, possibly also causing issues. So the solution with respect to the mod is to turn off 
the organized debug before if you're using the mod. If you don't have the mod anymore, either reinstall it to turn the option off or just repair your game. That's where repairing your game can be really helpful because it's supposed to fix that issue. And then obviously restart the game after this and see if the tasks are done. If not, try them again. So here's loose post on mods and the Grim Reaper reward event. So there is a little update there for Waffle near the bottom about the gardening project interfering with the flower quest. But that has been updated, so if you do use that mod and you're going to be doing it with mods, get the updated version. But we're going to go back to the top. Because a number of mods appear to be interfering with the Grim Reaper's reward event, and some other issues that aren't related to mods, and a lot of it hasn't been diagnosed yet, the recommendation is to do that fresh user folder as we've discussed under Krinrick's blog post. However, again, if you have better build by, turn off the organized debug. And if you previously had it and later run into issues with flower planting, run a game repair. So, and she has her suggestion of how she renames it. She renames the user folder something like the Sims 4 regular gameplay and the Sims 4 reward event. I honestly go a step further and create a folder that's called Sims 4 regular gameplay and Sims 4 reward event and then move them underneath so that you're not having to constantly rename them. You just drag that folder into your electronics art and you just put it back when you're done. This is simpler. This is my my recommendation. Anyways, here's some known mod issues. So Frank, no discovery quest, blocks the rewards event on the main menu. And discovery quests are the something that are in the game and actually aren't currently running while the reward is active. Reward event is active. Not for the full six weeks, but if you're actively working on a reward event and you haven't finished it for the week, it is. Well, they won't appear. There was another thing over on EA Answer Headquarters, maybe in the general information. That was something. So if you have the mod that makes it so you don't have the discovery quests, you also won't see the rewards event on the main menu. So somatically, refresh the main menu, it blocks the rewards event on the main menu. Again, the better build by by Twisted Maxi, as we've already discussed. And the tool mod blocks the reward event on the main menu. So Deaderpool, MC Command Center, a lot pausing can trigger blank UI and the CAS full edit mode might also be a trigger. So these are not on by default if you use MC Command Center. So what she's saying is to turn off the pause on lot, which is an option. If you use it, then you should turn that off. If you've never touched that, it should already not be on. And the same with the always CAS full edit mode. That is not the default you would have had to have enabled it for it to be on because I use MC Command Center. Right now when I did it, I did play mod free because I just hadn't added my mods back in, but I don't have either of those enabled in my game because I, I have the default. Also, Scumbabo always start lots pause. Obviously, with the issue with pausing, that's why this is causing it. So the Boss Lady TV NPCO interferes with Exabyte mail delivery to the for the Grim Reaper event, but it's not some of the other issues that are mentioned there that don't seem to be a lot of people when I looked at the bug reports. I don't even have screenshots of them. They didn't have a lot of me too's. But if you do have issues that I'm not talking about, I suggest going over to EA Answer Headquarters. And as I already said, Waffles mod has been updated. So if you do use that and you want to play this through with it, I would recommend getting the updated version. So here is loose take on the what was that about pausing? So it seems that the game clock needs to be running at non-obvious times for the rewards event UI to work. Um, no idea why, and she's hoping it gets a patch, but so far we haven't. So if you pause the game, unpause for a bit before doing any of these things, before you enter create a sim, before you save the game, before you exit the game, before you travel to another lot. And personally, I just did it in one sitting and I had heard there was issues with traveling and going to create some, so I just didn't. And I think I got it done in like less than an hour for the first week. And I wasn't really rushing too much. I had three sims in my household, but I know it can take longer. It depends on how you play and whatnot. And there is the update with respect to the Waffles Gardening Project and the fact that it's been updated. It is a free, even though this is a Patreon post, it is a free mod. And this was from last night and at the time i'm recording as i haven't seen that tool or better build by have been updated so but it could be updated by the time this video goes live so if you do use those mods take a look out for that now this is just i'm just showing you like 
at the time I got this screenshot, which was recently, 487 had already had the problem with the planting flowers in the quest not checking off. And if you go on EAN's headquarters, you have this from Luth, which essentially is, you know, the thing about Better Build By, which we've already talked about. However, if you've never had Better Build By by Twisted Maxi, they're looking for some information if you have this error. So one, if you've never used mods at all. Two, if you're a console player. Three, if you did not have Better Build By and never used it, but removing mods solved the issue. They just need that information um answer there below so if you have this problem and you're in that situation go comment over there it's going to help them figure out how to fix the issue so now we have this next major bug which we've talked about which is the reaper's reward ui not showing and at the time i got this screenshot there were 256 people having the problems there is the examples which one of them quinn used on her post so you can see it and there is a slightly different suggestion here from Krenrick. So you could try doing this and I'm not going to read through it because really I think this is something that if you're going to try it, you should just pull it up from the link. I'll be linking to the bug reports and, and the posts, everything down below. Um, and just follow it step by step. That's your best bet is just to take that, have that in front and do it one by one to make sure you don't mess anything up with it. But I just want to show you that this is here so that you know where to go look for it. Now, I said I was going to touch on a little bit about what was in the EA Help blog post. So they had tweeted, when death comes knocking on your door, don't freak out. It's just the Grim Reaper delivering the newest event in The Sims 4. And they have a guide on how to find out more about how events work. And they have a short little video there that you can see in the tweet, which I'll link. And also, it's the same video that runs on the main menu. I didn't find a unlisted video for it. So I actually got a, took a video of the one from the main menu. And I have it as an unlisted video, which I'll link down below. So if you want to be able to pause it, you know, and look at things a little bit better, which I found wasn't that easy to do with the one on the main menu, it'll be there for you to check out. So here is what it says. What are events in The Sims 4? So we have gameplay events and we have login events. Those are the two. We had, um, and this one is a gameplay event with the Reaper's Reward, and the previous one was a login event, and they have a separate blog post, which I'm not going to talk about, because this is not about those specifically, just other than it's one of the two types of events. So you can earn rewards through gameplay events, and it has like on your main menu, you'll see this events tab, and it'll pull up the UI for the uh, event on your main menu once you're done. So to earn the rewards, obviously in the gameplay events, you need to complete the weekly quest to earn points, and those points are going to be cumulative, and as you go along, you just can collect the things, which they may talk about later, but they're not... You're not going to run out of points. As long as you complete the event, you're going to have enough points to claim everything, is essentially what you're saying. Uh, but you have to wait till the next week to unlock the next quest once you've got the quest done for this week. And if you start late, you're going to have two buffer weeks at the end of the six weeks to catch up on what you missed. So one thing is that this particular one has a uh, pack specific, and you do not need any packs to do these quests. However, some quests are pack specific, so you'll only see those if you have the pack installed. For example, if you have the paranormal stuff pack installed, you may get pack specific quests that use features and items from that pack. If you don't have that pack installed, these quests won't appear for you. You're not going to get an alternative, you just won't get them. So essentially, packs may help you earn event points faster because you'll have additional objectives to complete. But they're not required to take part in the event, and in the Reaper's Reward post, they talk about, well, I have extra points. And that's how you're going to have extra points, because you're going to just get more points to use and collect things a bit earlier on. But in the end, they're just going to be there and they expire at the end of the event and you can't do anything with it. But that's why you may have extra points is because you might have packs that other people don't have. So they do talk a little bit about login events and the fact that you can earn rewards there. And essentially, it's similar to what we did before. You get different rewards each week. And those are ones you have to kind of log in so many times in a week to be able to claim them. And that's what we had with the Happy at Home login event. So here they're just talking about how to claim it. So you're going to open the event screen through the main menu, through the event tab, or in live mode by selecting the event icon, which in, for this one is like the little Grim Reaper. 
and they'll show and you'll have the option to claim. They don't show it here. If the claim button is grayed out or not there, you don't have enough points to claim the reward and you essentially do more objectives, but also it only goes so far for the week. Uh, but if you have multiple rewards, if you hit claim, it'll claim them all. I noticed that when I did the event. So here's one point that they made. All rewards earned through gameplay events are linked to your EA account. If you uninstall The Sims 4, you still have your rewards. If you reinstall and log in with the same EA account, you earn them on, which we talked about earlier. The only thing that I found was that they're specifically saying this is for gameplay events. So it doesn't seem like at this point in time, obviously uh, for computer players right now, it's the account data DB which I'll show it, I, I'm going off memory, but I'll show it in a minute, that is has your entitlements in it for the login event. And unfortunately, it used to be a different one. And with the switch over, it seems like, I don't know if all console players lost it or some, because the number of Me Too's on the bug report isn't as much as I would think it would be, but it's just maybe people haven't added a Me Too to the report. But anyways, the Sims Direct had tweeted earlier, like on Monday, that they're aware of and investigating the issue and, you know, hopefully they'll be able to resolve it. And here is the bug report. And like I said, 262, which is a lot, but not compared to the other ones. So I would think that just hasn't, you know, had enough people putting their Me Too's on it. So if you've had this problem, go add your Me Too to the bug report. Also, this report was from a PlayStation player. And there were a lot of reports from console players initially, and I had thought that one of the reasons computer players maybe didn't have it was because they had accidentally deleted the account data DB file that you now have the entitlements in. But I had people commenting on my previous video that they had never touched it. So obviously, while that can cause a problem, that is not what has caused the problem for everybody. So it's possible that the data didn't transfer over from the old user option any into the new one, or something else on your computer just deleted it. Who knows what it could have been. But I highly recommend if you're a computer player that you definitely go over there and add your Me Too and comment with your experience so that they get more computer players actually commenting there. But by adding your Me Too, they know what you play on. Um, if you only play on computer, they'll know you only play on computer. And if you play on both, then you definitely should comment that you're having the issue on a uh, computer too. Because at the moment, there are more computer people commenting there, but it definitely is predominantly console, and they're still like looking for saves from console players, and they haven't asked for them from computer players. It's possible that the issue is a little bit different, but still, the result is the same. Anyways, where to find your rewards, in case you hadn't seen this, they're under event rewards, either in uh, build by special event rewards, you can see them there for the previous event, and the current ones are also there. And then create a sim, it's very similar, where they have special and then event rewards. And again, they're showing the necklace from the Happy at Home event. So there are consumables and collectibles with this gameplay event, and you can only uh, find them in live mode. You can't get them from the menu because essentially they're going to go into the household where you're claiming them in. They're just basic normal things. They're saying that you could buy them through buy mode, but honestly, a lot of them like plants, potions, and crystals you would need to use BB dot show hidden objects to see them. They're not things you normally see in buy mode without a cheat for the most part. So there's just an example of, you know, my first week where everything is completed and all the things that I have claimed. The things that are the little tiles, those are the consumables. The things that are the big tiles, those are all the things that are tied to your EA account and that you can get to from any of your saves that are linked into your EA account. And there's all the essentially big tile items, including those limited time bony collectibles. There's the original freezer bony. It's worth 75 simoleons and it has a little description there. There's the gramophone. It has really good stats, I'd have to say. A lot more uh, compared to a lot of the other radios. And hopefully they keep it that way because sometimes they have a tendency of going in and changing the stats on some things. And then here are the earrings, which you can see the different swatches on my sim. And they're different on both sides. Obviously, it looks like a little bit of spider on the one side, and you've got the Reaper's Scythe on the other side in the different colors. And the other one is you have the Scare Seeker a Lot Challenge. And it says there's something in the air that here that fills you with eldritch excitement and attracts Sims looking for a ghoulishly good time. The description on the Reaper's Reward 
blog post says that this is going to make Sims, instead of being scared, be energized. And someone had commented, there's a, you know, feedback section there where the people were like, oh, it's not doing anything. But someone said they use this on a haunted house. And somehow with this, they were getting little things in their inventory with it. So I haven't played with it like that. I have it on, but my house is lot is fine. So I'm really curious to play with it, uh, like on something where you're going to be more likely to get scared. Because it seemed like when they would have been scared, they got like, they got energized and then they got some fun little thing in their inventory. So I don't know what it is. And I'm very curious to play. I'd love to know if you have completed it. And if you've used it, what you have seen. So here is a sneak peek from that video that I have linked to of some of the names of the tasks, as well as, of course, the items when we're going to get them, which we know what week we're going to get them from the reward thing, but we don't know the names of the tasks and whatnot that you have to look forward to. Though one of the things that is there is a death flower. So that'll be useful in making the ambrosia. And then, of course, that was this first week. There is week two where you have digging holes and friends with death. So you have to become friends with the Grim Reaper. So having that uh, Grimophone to call him, I guess, would be useful again. And then fishing in week three, from what I can see there. And there's the book that we unlock in week three where you learn from the lady. And uh, there's a sneak peek at the final one. So that's... Uh, everything from the little video on the event. I had had someone ask whether you could get the locked items early and I do see that there are rooms on the gallery with all of the build by items from the event that are the big things that are tied to your EA account and they work in your save regardless of whether you have unlocked the entitlements yet. Whereas I find the creative sim things like the clothing, jewelry, they don't work unless you have them unlocked. Even with the login rewards, if you've lost them, they're gone because I was testing and it took it off of my Sims. So let me know if you've actually completed the event and if so, if you enjoyed it or not. And if you've had problems, did some of these suggestions help? But also, if they did help, I'd love to know. But if they don't, really go over to the bug reports and comment with all your experience over there because that is where they can really help you. But that's actually going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!